are in Papua New Guinea in a small isolated area known as the Conflict Islands. These islands are exclusively owned and visited by p and cruisers, so you have to jump on one of their ships to PNG if you want to visit this particular island. But it's also known as some of the most biodiverse snorkeling in the world. It's incredible. So we're gonna, let's just dive in. Let's take a look, learn some things, and enjoy the adventure. Awesome greeting from the locals, greeting everyone coming off the ship. Now we're gonna go find a nice spot. <laughs> the jetty's where we came in, but they also have a bar called the Coconut Bar. It's, it's pretty big, um, the beers seem pretty cheap, and there's an activity hut where you can do all sorts of activities. Conflict Islands is uh, in an archipelago of about 20 other islands. Not a lot of them have locals living on the islands, but they do visit these places to help people on their cruise days, sell stuff and, and give you some form of entertainment. So it's pretty cool. We just found a nice spot under the shade. I'm gonna take a snorkel and, and see what this famous reef is all about. <laughs> So we only hit one snorkeling destination on this particular island so far, but from what I gather it's not really that different. Um, it's meant to be the most diverse. I was expecting really bright colours and, and incredible sights, but the, the reef itself is just sort of standard. It's like any other reef that I've snorkeled. Good reef, these are bad puns. Oh, God, Christ, cow, that was terrible. Let's try better with that reef, my man. How to survive traveling with your mother in law, part three. Find a different side of the island. Okay, I made it back to the ship and on the way I found out a few things, like the reason we couldn't find the incredible diverse multicolored reefs to snorkel that we heard so much about is not because I read a lie, it's because P and O have sectioned off that part of the island, so you can it, it's paid only entry, it's exclusively for shore tours. Now, I'm going to spend the next few vlogs showing you guys that you do not need to pay for shore tours on all the other islands, the stops in Papua New Guinea. You can do that on your own and for much cheaper, so we're going to cover that in the upcoming episodes. But this island, the Conflict Islands, this stop, is an exception to that rule. You must pay for the shore tour if you want to experience the great snorkeling. Now, I don't really care so much about the snorkeling, other people do, so if you're those other people, keep in mind that shore tours, on average, go for between $80 and $150 Australian. Otherwise, it was an incredible day, fantastic day, great destination, reminds me a lot of all the other Pacific Islands like Fiji and Vanuatu, but I'm looking forward to the rest of the journey because there's some spots in Papua New Guinea coming up that are unbelievable, so stick around, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, throw it a thumbs up, do whatever you want to do, we will catch you in the next vlog. The volcano was pretty cool to visit after its eruption in 1994. It completely buried the original city of Rabul. Mm -hmm. 